In this video, we will be going through the nomenclature of inorganic acids and bases. Here is our syllabus stop point. We'll begin by learning how to name particular inorganic acid groups. In particular, the hydrohalic acids, which are formed from hydrogen and halogen, and the oxyacids, which as per the name, are acids which contain oxygen atoms. We'll also need to know what the word inorganic means. The word organic in the context of chemistry means carbon containing. So the word inorganic means not carbon containing. A hydrohalic acid is a particular type of binary inorganic molecule. It's a molecule which contains a hydrogen and a halogen. Here we have a table which contains examples of hydrohalic acids such as HF, HCl, HBr, and HI, which are known as hydrofluoric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, and hydroiodic acid respectively. Oxyacids are acids which contain oxygen, hydrogen, and another central element. The central element can vary. Here are the possible structures of oxyacids, which include HEO2, HEO3, H2EO3, H2EO4, and H3EO4 where E is the central element which can vary. Non-halogenic acids are simply oxyacids which do not contain halogens. They follow the same ruling with their possible structures. Oxyacids are named with the central element first, followed by a suffix, then acid. For example, we have nitrogen which is the central element for this particular acid. For its possible structures, we have HNO3, and HNO2. For the acid which contains the most amount of oxygen possible, we give it the ic suffix, so this is nitric followed by acid. For the least oxygen, it's us, so nitrous followed by acid. The same rule applies for the other types of acids. If we're using phosphorus to create an acid, phosphoric acid, the non-halogenic oxyacid formed by phosphorus, which has the most possible amount of oxygen. Whereas phosphorus acid is the acid formed with phosphorus, which contains the least amount of oxygen possible. The same goes for sulfuric acid and sulfurous acid. Here is the structure of nitric acid, which has the molecular formula HNO3. If we look at the structure here, we can notice that there is only one hydrogen on the outside of the structure, which is able to be donated as an acid. This means that this is what we call a monoprotic acid because there is only one hydrogen which it is able to donate. If we look at sulfuric acid, however, we can see now that there are actually two hydrogens. These two hydrogens means that it is able to donate two of these hydrogens, and we call this a diprotic acid. For phosphoric acid, the structure demonstrates that now we have three hydrogens which are able to be donated, and so we call this a triprotic acid. Oxyacids can also be halogenic. These kinds of acids occur where the central element of the acid is a halogen. Their structures are demonstrated by following the diagrams below, with four oxygens, three oxygens, two oxygens, and one oxygen. Halogenic oxyacids follow the following nomenclature. For the most oxygen, and the formula HXO4, where X is our halogen, we give it the name perhalic acid. For HXO3, we call it halic acid. For HXO2, we call it halous acid. And for HXO, we call it hypohalous acid. Here we have an example of halogenic acids containing chlorine and bromine. For the formula HXO4, where X is Cl, we call this perchloric acid. One less, we call that one chloric acid. One less than that, we call it chlorous acid, and then we call it hypochlorous acid. Similarly, for bromine, the most oxygen is perbromic acid, followed by bromic acid, bromous acid, and then hyperbromous acid. Here are the structures of our oxyacids containing chlorine. This is perchloric acid, chloric acid, chlorous acid, and hypochlorous acid. Notice that they only have one hydrogen which is able to be donated as a proton. Therefore, this is an example of a monoprotic acid. 
For inorganic bases, the nomenclature follows the naming conventions for ionic compounds. For metal hydroxides, like NaOH, this is called sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide. For metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates, this is called sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate. If you are unfamiliar with the naming conventions and nomenclature for ionic compounds, you can revise them by watching the nomenclature section of our compounds video.